Welcome to the first part of our Getting Started tutorial series. In the next seven videos, we will provide you a basic introduction into the Emimet software suite, so that you can dive into your first project with Emimet. In this part, we would like to introduce you into the Emimet headquarter, from which you can navigate to all necessary programs. In the usual Emimet workflow, you will first set up your project. Afterwards, you will digitize your model area, and once you have finished your model area, you can start the simulation process. When the simulation is completed, the two remaining steps are visualization and post-processing. When starting a new project in Envimet, you first need to select your project workspace. For that, you need to go to the Data and Settings tab in the Envimet headquarter. Here, you can see your selected workspace on the right-hand side. If you want to define a different workspace or organize your current projects, you can click on projects slash workspaces. In the DB Manager, you can modify self-created project or user databases and look up the attributes of the elements within the system database. Here, you can find or create all elements you will use in your model area. You can use Albero to edit the properties of existing 3D plans or design new ones. The Forcing Manager allows you to create forcing files by importing your pre-formatted measuring data or EPW and TRY files. If we now jump to the Envimet tab, you can see that there are two different ways to digitize your model area. MOND is a vector-based tool that enables you to pre-process your model area. You can either use OSM data, load shape files, or draw your own shapes. After that, you must finalize your model area with spaces. Spaces is a grid-based tool in which you can either finalize your model area or build it from the ground up. This area file can then be used in your simulations. In the MV Guide, you can define your simulation settings. After you have specified your model area with spaces and mount and its conditions with the MV Guide, you can start the simulation in the MV Core. The simulation results can then be used in Leonardo to create 2D or 3D maps and analyze your data. Biomet is a post processing tool that provides options for calculating human normal comfort indices from your simulation output files. In the System tab, information about your current Envimet version and license type is given. And finally, in the Help tab, you can find links to our website and forum. You can also visit our social media pages and download tutorial data. That's it for the first part, and in the following video, we will dive into the Workspace Manager and create our first project. Thank you for watching, and if you like, you can visit our website or check out our other tutorial videos here on YouTube.